uh, the late Jacob Juma at 12.34 p.m. on the 10th of December 2015 tweeted, and I quote, the person who is obsessed with plans to kill me is William Ruto. I know that my assassination was discussed on Tuesday. My question to you is, did you have anything to do with that? As the late Jacob Juma claimed, as Jerongo claimed, and why you? That I have nothing to do with anything to do with the life or death of Jacob Juma. I've seen on Twitter that the issue of Jacob Juma has resurfaced and it is now trending once again. Now there's several questions to ask here. Who was Jacob Juma? Why was he murdered? And who was responsible for his murder? These are the volatile topics that I would like us to review in today's video. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. So who was Jacob Juma? Jacob Juma was just a regular businessman who was born in around 1971 in Mongore, a village in uh, Bungoma County. I'm even familiar with that place. But even more important than that, he was a tireless crusader against corruption and a very close ally of people in opposition, including Raila Odinga. So he kind of doubled in politics without necessarily being in politics himself. And the sinister thing about the death of uh, Jacob Juma is that prior to his own demise, the signs that he would surely die were already manifesting. The first sign that manifested was that his home was being surveilled by some men. I remember at one point he testified in court that while he was at his kitchen balcony, which faced the T-junction on Brookside Drive, he saw a Toyota Land Cruiser with some men inside. Then he saw one of those men alight from the car and he was dressed in a suit. Apparently these guys talked for a moment and then they left. Personally, I believe this was a scouting mission. There is no murderer, thief, or even a terrorist who does not do his homework prior. Never. Those who attacked Westgate were there severally before. Those who attacked Ducit were there severally before. And those who killed Jacob Juma were the same same men whom he saw from his balcony. It's just that they didn't anticipate he would be on his balcony watching them arrive. So it was sloppy work on their end. The other sign that made Jacob Juma know his life was almost coming to an end is the fact that he had received a phone call where he was threatened that he will surely die for as long as he continues snitching how NYS money was stolen and so on and so forth. You know, in this country, to be honest, if you're a whistleblower and you're not Shailo Dinga, good luck. You won't see Monday. Whistleblowing is not done by people who are at the bottom of the food chain. Even in America, people like Julius Assange had to run to other countries like Russia to seek amnesty and then do what they had to do from there. Rosalina Kombe had to rush to America. But Jacob Juma is in Kenya and releasing information. I would never advise anyone to do such a thing. I've even seen some people whatsapping me, hey, there's this scandal in this ministry, there's this, there's that. That is not something I double in. Personally, I only deal with news that is already out in public. I am not the one generating the news, but I can comment on what is already out there. Because history shows, Kenyan history, you cannot be a whistleblower when you are a nobody. You will not see Monday. That is just a fact. But either way, when was Jacob Juma killed? Jacob Juma was killed after meeting with lawyer Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, one of the top lawyers in the country. He had literally just left his office and began driving home when he was gunned down by possibly the same group of men which was peering at him from his kitchen balcony. And if you want to know this were not petty thieves but rather professional hitmen, they killed this guy and resisted the temptation to take his two phones, an expensive Rolex watch or even the stacks of money that he had in the car. So these were highly trained personnel. They knew that the phones could either be tracked and the watch too might have a tracker because of the worth of the watch. And also the moment you get close enough to a vehicle to start ransacking it for goodies, you're going to leave hair behind. DNA diagnostics could be done. You're also likely to leave your fingerprints behind. So they had no interest in the man's valuables, just his death. So they gunned him down from range, never bothered to breach the door of the vehicle. They left him there for the police and other forces to come and do what they have to do. So that begs the question, who was behind the killing of Jacob Juma? Jacob Juma himself had accused several people of wanting to kill him before he actually died. But the most notable persona that he accused was then Deputy President 
William Ruto. He expressly claimed that the DP wanted to kill him. But personally, I can't take that information as gospel truth because Jacob Juma already had a bias towards DP Ruto. Just look at some of the things he had to say about Ruto on his Twitter page. And I quote, Mr. Uru Kenyatta leads a government whereby his deputy has destroyed its name by looting from everything that is done or owned by government. Again, he said, fellow Kenyans, just imagine William Ruto being Kenya's president. The country will burn. He is arrogant, abusive, coercive, and grabber. Another tweet he said, Fellow Kenyans, please, please, please don't ever listen to William Ruto. He is a fraudster. He lies with severe impunity. So from the get-go, it's quite obvious that Jacob Juma liked Uru Kenyatta and pretty much everyone else in opposition, but hated William Ruto. So it's no wonder he believed that Ruto was one of the people planning his murder. But the truth is, and I wish Jacob Juma lived long enough to know this, the special service unit was fully functioning from day one of Uru Kenyatta's administration. And Jacob Juma was taken care of by the same same team, a team which I also believe was behind the murder of Ruto's soldier Kip Kenei and even Chris Msando. They have killed many people in this country, including kidnapping Dennis Itumbi. In fact, President Ruto disbanded them immediately. He took power and these people were arraigned in court. But whether they are still behind bars or not, that much we don't know. But either way, here's what Dipi Ruto had to say about Msando's murder back then. Here's a tip. You, you talked about this. Uh, at Cabetes, that was his Twitter handle. Uh, the late Jacob Juma, at 12.34 p.m. on the 10th of December 2015, tweeted, and I quote, The person who is obsessed with plans to kill me is William Ruto. I know that my assassination was discussed on Tuesday. My question to you is, did you have anything to do with that? As the late Jacob Juma claimed, as Jirongo claimed, and why you? Well, I think... Uh we lost Jacob Juma, that he would be best place to respond to your question. And maybe you should look for some time, get Jirongo here, so that he can tell the country what he means. But I am sure, as sure as uh, the sun is going to rise tomorrow, that the killers of Jacob Juma will be brought to book. Mm -hmm. I, I am hoping that they will be brought to book and uh, they will be known. I want to tell you and to tell Kenyans and to tell the country that I have nothing to do with anything to do with the life or death of Jacob Juma. Juma. Investigations are going on. Have the police questioned you since Jacob Juma directly? When the police want a statement from me, I will give it freely. Any day, any time, anywhere. But they haven't questioned you yet. They have not asked me for a statement. I, I will gladly give my statement okay yeah so i will gladly do that because i'm a law-abiding citizen and i want to help in getting to the bottom of this uh, uh, death of uh, uh, juma or indeed any other kenya now what say you is the ssu responsible for the murder or is it a different killer squad that existed at the time i'll do my best to read your comment and to give you a response in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david wafula hit the subscribe button you're gonna be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.